Hey Pisces, this is your reading for December. This is the Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs when I was pre-shuffling. So the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. And um, I just feel like, you know, relationships are going to be blossoming um, here. People are loving themselves. And look at that, Ace of Cups comes up again. I just saw the Empress, um, New Beginnings in love okay i don't know why but you guys are the first sign that i have cut cards for and there just was a need to just instinctually okay let's see what's under the bottom of the deck nine of swords this is an overactive imagination guys the things that you are thinking nine times out of ten are not true okay we have the lovers card we have the nine of cups the ten of coins the Two of Cups, look at that. The Knight of Cups. The Three of Wands. The Fool. Oh, I'm getting tingles. Sheesh. The King of Wands. And the Knight of Wands. This, these cards are just giving me like, oh, tingles all over my body. Okay. So, I feel like in the past there, you know, there was a substantial relationship here, very significant um, love and relationship, very significant. Um, but somebody made a choice somebody made a choice you know <laughs> just sitting here looking at these cards Somebody was not as dedicated, I'll say that. Somebody didn't show how dedicated they were to this connection. They were more focused on themselves. And not as committed as the other person would have liked for them to be. I get, and I'm sorry if I'm pausing because this is very strong. There was somebody, you know, that was, for some of you, somebody was very selfish in this relationship. And the other person was toughing it out. They were holding it together for the both of them. They were holding it together for the both of them. And I feel like this person let go. The one that was holding it together for the both of them couple of scenarios here guys the person that was holding it together for the both of them decided that you know it's time for them to be happy they're no longer trying to 
decide between the relationship and holding on to this person and their happiness. They were trying to make it happen, like trying to be happy themselves as well as, you know, grow the relationship, nurture the relationship. And I feel like, you know, they had to make a decision because the other person was not was not putting forth the effort and they realized that they realized that we have the ten of pentacles clarified by the three of cups and a star The relationship was very, it was very solid. It was a solid, it was a solid connection. But I think somebody here was like partying way, way hard and needing to, you know, take a chill pill and just like, concentrate more on the relationship almost as if they chose you know to go out and hang with their friends over the relationship or whatever it was they were doing with the three of cups I mean it could have very well have been a third party relationship could have could have um, but the circumstances are such that they chose to invest more time in something else other than the relationship. They've calmed down. Is, is what it seems like they calm down they now want to invest you know give more time to this connection because they love you and you them this is reciprocal love this is this is undeniable Neither of you can deny it. You can't deny it. There is a there is a strong desire to to have to have this again. There's a very strong desire here to have to have to share this love you know, with this person that you're thinking about between the two of you. I feel like this person is very Somebody wants to rush, like really rush into this thing without thinking about it. And I think it's, it's almost a little overwhelming for the other person. Somebody wants to, you know, just start things over again without talking about, you know, what needs to happen and how it can actually work and you know one wants to talk about it and one just wants to like you know let's forget about that we love each other let's just move on let's start over let's start something fresh let's build something together without discussing like you know what's what's the deal breaker here for both of you what, what actually happened to us in the past that we're not going to repeat? There is a need to do that. You know, 
somebody's actually wanting to talk about it and somebody's actually just wanting to like you know just come in and just flood the other one with emotions and hope that just make you know every other negative thing just kind of fall to the wayside Definite love here, for sure. Three of Wands is waiting on your ships to come in. Ace of Cups is, you know, I just feel like, let's look at this. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups, Three of Wands. The, the person I feel like, you know, there there's a need to <clears throat> do a self-assessment, both parts, both parties, um, and love yourself before you can actually be compassionate with yourself before you can be compassionate with others and share your love. And I feel like... There's a strong need to, you know, do a self-assessment. We have Aries here. We have Pisces. And this may be you, Pisces. You may have Aries in your chart or, or you are a cusper. Maybe somebody, you know, really, really hurt you. Really, really hurt you in the past and you're not at a point where you're open to giving them a chance. Maybe it took you a long time to heal. <clears throat> Feeling like you were so invested at one point and this person wasn't, they were just worried about themselves and so you finally get to a point where you're feeling good again. You're feeling sexy. You're feeling happy. You're feeling um, secure. And maybe now you're just saying, like, I'm not sure if um, you are one of those ships. You know, you may be waiting on a brand new, new ship. Something that you have never um, occupied before. You know, and and that's not bad. That's not horrible. If you don't want to revisit something, there's lots of people that just don't want to go back. You know, you just want to take a leap of faith because you want things to be clear. You don't ever want ambiguity in a relationship again. You don't want any lines to be blurred. You want to know what the truth is off the top. And I feel like, you know, you will be open and honest and you in a relationship and you respect that in somebody else. And I think you know how to convey that at this point. I really feel like you're a cusper. <laughs> like you either, this is a cross watcher or you have strong Aries in your chart. Strong Aries to me, I feel. Then we have Sagittarius here as well. There is a, um, you want to get married or somebody wants to marry you. It's strongly what I get here with the King of Wands and the Page of Cups and the Four of Wands. Somebody recognizing the emotions that that are present that may not have been before. And I feel like there is somebody definitely wanting to um, be in a committed relationship. And you know, there's somebody else and you guys could possibly be, you know, you could poss possibly be dealing with um, somebody with strong fire in their chart, I feel, um, with air, Gemini. 
I feel Gemini Libra, Aquarius energy. And I think what, what the issue is going to be is in when we come here to the Six of Swords and, and it's like this, laying on the table. Now it's like that. Okay. Um, somebody just does not want to deal with flakiness. That's just the bottom line. Iffiness. One minute you're in it, one minute you're not. Um, somebody is just kind of over it because they have already been through, you know, a whole bunch of crap with this person, I feel like. And they're just not willing to put up with this, you know, haphazard energy. So, you know, just being very defensive and very like, you know, I'm not going through that again. You know, I've been through the fire. You know, I'm ready to move into calmer waters here. I don't want to have to argue with somebody every day. I don't want to have to keep asking somebody if they love me or, you know, why they won't hug me or whatever the case may be. And that's going to be the challenge. That's going to be the real challenge is um, if this is you, Pisces, and, you know, you you were the one that just was concentrating on yourself, then, you know, it's going to be a challenge for you to prove to this person that you're in it to win it. Okay? And if, if, uh, if it's the other person, I can't even talk. Maybe somebody here is having a really hard time just kind of, you know, putting their feelings out there. Being able to say the things that the other person actually needs to hear to bring this together. Because I'm finding myself pretty tongue-tied over here. Um, but I think, you know, it, it's going to come down to how much you guys want it. Okay? You are the other person. That's what it comes down to. And to what extent are you willing to go to, to, you know, let that person know just how solid you are in your decision to want to, decision of wanting to, like, really come together and make this thing work. Okay? So, Pisces, that's what I have for you for December, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.